Taylor Swift fans will shake it off at two Irish concerts next summer and while the US superstars of Eva gigs are just over a year away there could already be some bad blood amid concerns of price gouging by some hotels. Speaking at an event in Temple Bar today, the minister responsible acknowledged there was a problem and said senior ministers will meet hotel operators next week. There does seem to be a, a consistent trend at this stage of spiking of, of prices um, when there are significant sporting events or, or indeed um, concerts. We need to, you know, to hold on to our reputation as a value for money destination um, and, and we have to always remember, you know, tourism within the country, but our, our international tourism as well, what it delivers to Ireland, how invaluable it is to it to our economy. Accusations of price gouging comes as new figures reveal Ireland is now the most expensive country in the EU, with consumers paying more for goods, services, alcohol and tobacco than anywhere else in the Union, something tourists in Temple Bar were all too aware of. The most difficult part, I think, that is hanging out. Drinking some beers is the most uh, expensive part. It's like anywhere in the world. Uh, I find cigarettes expensive. Uh, the Guinness is cheap, would you believe? We pay twice as much in Australia for a Guinness, and that's just unbelievable. Really, really expensive. Like, um, I tried to book a, a room in we West Wexford, I think. It was like 600 for a room for a weekend. Crazy, crazy unbelievable. Meanwhile, the Irish Hotels Federation is urging people to book with hotels directly for the best deals. Paul Quinn, Virgin Media News.